Hello, girls. How are you? Hi, teacher. I'm fine. What about you? I'm doing really good. I'm actually very happy because, I mean, I was able to sleep, rest, eat, and read a lot during Holy Week. So I'm actually very happy that, that I was able to do all of that. It's been quite some time since the last time I was able to do all of this. How about you? Yes, teacher. In my case, I rest a lot at two and I was doing exercise. Well, a little bit of exercise. No, I'm going to be honest. Well, I did went, Um, sorry, I did practice a little bit of um, cycling, but just a little, not that much because I haven't exercised in God knows how long, like a very long time. So, but today I enroll at a gym. So I'm going to start going very soon, hopefully tomorrow. Um, but yes, I like working out, but during Holy Week, it's because there, but you, you, you live in Ciudad Casa, right? Yes, teacher. It was raining a lot. I mean, the first days of Holy Week, I don't know Ciudad Casa, but like where my parents live, they live in um, La Rosa. I don't know if you know, it's close to La Marina. Yes. So there it was raining a lot, like a lot. So, of course, I couldn't go cycling because, I mean, it was, like, I mean, like, clearly I couldn't. It was raining. So, I, I couldn't. That was my excuse not to go. Hello, Ali. How are you? Hi, teacher. Everything good at you? I'm doing great. Thank you. How was your holy week? Well, actually, I spent almost all my holy week at home, like, watching TV. I didn't, like travel to anywhere so i spent almost all the week here but i mean um uh, that's what we were in a way speaking i was telling tam and um tani that i did the same i mean not in my apartment because as you know i don't live with my parents they live in san carlos and i live in Heredia. um but i went to san carlos i was there the whole week but i didn't do anything else i mean i was with my parents for the entire week oh, there was only one day and it was sunday the last sunday this past sunday that i went to eat with one of my friends and that was the only thing the only thing that i did the rest well i mean outside of my house inside of my house i was uh cooking a little bit eating a lot resting like sleeping reading i was reading a lot thank god so I feel fully rested. I feel like happy, like I am like a new person. It's been so long since I, I've been able to rest this much. Hello, Fauri, how are you? Hello, teacher. Sorry, I was having some problems. And don't worry, don't worry, it's totally fine. It's the first day after uh, Holy Week, so it's understandable if you were doing something different or something happened, it's all, all good. Um, okay, guys, so for today, we're going to start, as you know, last week, we talked about what well, we talked about. No, you worked on the videos. Okay, so we were going to have an activity for the video. However, it was already a little bit late and I didn't want you to stay uh, too long with that thing. So what we're going to be doing today, we're going to start doing today because we have a lot of things to do, but we're going to start with um, the, the this activity where you're going to first. You're going to watch the video. You're going to watch every single video. Of course, not the one that you created. You're going to watch, for example, Tam, you're going to watch Alice, Fauris, and Tanis, and you're going to leave a comment, okay? So your comment is going to be like, what do you think? Do you agree? Do you disagree? What would the person is saying, okay? Um, that's the first thing that we're going to do. Let me go ahead and send you the link in case that you don't have the link to the videos. It's all good. Um, let me sure. So the comment is for is like a speaking or a writing, it's going to be written exactly. Okay. So you're gonna because there, if you go to the video, for example, um, let me go ahead and open one. Hi, okay, tengo thumbs. let me go ahead and share my screen real quick. Okay, can you see my screen now? Yes, teacher. <laughs> Tommy's like, damn, it's me. Sorry. So 
if you go here, you come here, it's add a comment. So there you can say like, hello, Tam. Um, I like uh, your video uh, and I agree with what you're saying about being confident, blah, 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 or something like that. The idea is that you provide your point of view in regards to um, what, it, first, does the person sound confident? And second, do you agree with that? Because remember, at the end of the video, you were supposed to explain why you chose that specific part to try to sound confident, okay? Questions? Yes, no, maybe, no questions. Everything's super easy. Okay, so um, I think the videos, let me double check real quick, because their timing is no more than five minutes. Let me see, okay, Tom, yours is, okay, three, Tiny, yours is five, Party, yours is five, and Ale, yours is five. Wow. Okay, so let's go ahead and take, 20 minutes so you have time to watch the video and also to leave a comment um i hope 20 minutes is going to be enough if not we can talk about it and have like a few more minutes don't worry about it but let's go ahead and in um watch the videos i already sent you the link to the videos they are it's in the here in the in the chat of, of zoom were you able to open it yes okay yes, awesome do you have access to the videos now? Yes. Okay, awesome. So let's take 20 minutes already, uh, 6, 10. Let's, let's take 20 minutes to work on that so you can watch the videos and leave your comment over there. And after that, uh, we're going to come back. Um, we, we're not actually leaving, but then we're going to continue with the next part of the, of the class, okay? Okay, so I'm going to... Let you do your magic and watch the video. Okay, here we go. So um, as I was saying, one of the, the topics that is usually present um, in the TOEIC exam, it's health. So this time we're gonna be approaching health from two different angles. First, we're gonna approach it from a physical point of view, and then we're gonna approach it from a mental point of view, since you actually have mentioned that it's one of the things that you would like to go deeper into. So we're also gonna be talking about mental health, which is something that I'm obsessed with. So I think it's a great idea. Um, so, but today we're going to start with physical, which is actually very, very important. So we're going to start watching a video that I found on the web that I think it's really cool because it talks about why it's so difficult to make healthy decisions. Cause you know, sometimes, um, we want to eat healthy or something, and then we come across something that looks very delicious, like a torta chilena or a chocolate cake or a dessert like i don't know um this one i don't know rice pudding or cheesecake or anything and they look so good that we're like i'm sorry i have to eat it so we end up eating this even though we know that it's not something that is very healthy or not even healthy at all so uh we're gonna watch the video then we're gonna have a few questions and then i'm gonna give you a task okay um, so let me go ahead and, and share my screen first so we can watch the video. I'm not going to be recording when we're watching the video because if YouTube finds out that I recorded a class with a video from YouTube, then it kind of, um, how can I say, it bans the class, the video. Like I cannot upload the video. It's very weird. So just for you to know, because um, I've done it. I did it last, last semester and I found out. So 
Okay, let me go ahead and share my screen. Okay, can you see my screen now? Yes. Okay, awesome. Um, wait, just give me a second. Okay, guys. So, well, first of all, my usual question. Did you like the video? What do you think about the video? Well, first, did you like the video? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Yes, teacher. Um, I know it was a bit long at the beginning, and there are many things that we were like, mm, why are you talking about that? But as you could see, it, it talks about or it gives some very important points, and that's what I actually liked about it. Um, so now we're gonna go over real quick about some of the things that they talk about. So um, well, first of all, um the speaker, in a way, not exactly in this way, but in a way, he says that when we make things easier to understand people, it's more likely for people to actually follow these steps in or kind of make better decisions if we explain things in an easier way. Do you agree or disagree with this and why? Not so many. We can start with one. Well, teacher, it's like when, for example, a math teacher is explaining something. I think um, uh, something that is very difficult. And then that person or that teacher wants to make it easier to make us there. The students understand the, 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 the topic in a greater way mm -hmm. because sometimes um, they struggle and they just end up um, like doing other things or they distract a lot of times. Mm -hmm. So what teachers want to do is to make it like more visual or sometimes easier to follow uh, the pattern and make it um, everyone understand better what they are saying, for mm -hmm. example. That is a great example, Fauri, and I completely agree with you because actually, as you were speaking, I immediately thought about every single, I mean, I know I'm old, but I remember when I was in high school. So I remember when I would, when one would see something, I don't know, like any math problem, um, and there was a formula. So we would follow the formula and it would be like, oh, but maybe it was difficult to understand, right? As you were saying, but then the moment that, I don't know, something clicked, and you understand and you're like, oh, this is actually very easy. You feel way more motivated to complete more assignments because you actually want to, well, it was my case. I actually wanted to, to test how much I understood. So I would be like, oh, this one maybe was right. Let's see the, the next one. So I would take the second the second uh, math problem. And if it was right, then I'm going to go for the third one and so on and so forth and be like, yes, I got this. So the way that you're saying it is actually right. And that example was uh, great because it's true. That's exactly the, the way whenever we find something or we're able to make something easier to understand, we are kind of um, unraveling something in our brains uh, that is more motivated to to continue um, working on that. Um, guys, do you, want, do you want to add anything to that? Teacher, well, I I am completely agree with Barry, and well, I think usually the easier things um seem more attractive to us because basically because we understand them better, and I think we can develop better. That is true. And I want to give you an anecdote real quick. Um, In my case, well, clearly I'm an English teacher. So I have found thousands, millions, billions of people that usually tell me English is such a complicated language. And, but it's very interesting because every time they tell me that, I, I don't know why, I developed this theory where I can tell them, no, it's actually way easier than Spanish, which I believe is true. And I give them lots of examples. And I'd say, okay, look at this, for example, regular verbs. You only add ED 
And by that, you already have the simple form of every single um subject or every single pronoun. It doesn't matter. And, and I give them examples in Spanish and I see and I tell them, okay, look, so for example, I wanted, she wanted, they wanted, we wanted is the same as yo quise, ellos quisieron. And then I continue give, giving them examples. And I was like, so what you need some time to memorize only this in Spanish, you will need time to memorize all of this. And the same for the article, da, the definite article that I tell them, this one could actually mean el, la, los, y las. It is only one in English. So it's compacting everything. So that usually helps because then people are like, hmm, so it's, maybe it's not that complicated. And I'm like, no, it's not really. I mean, it's of course, it's a language, so it will require some effort from you. But it's not complicated at all. I would say it's one of the easiest languages to learn. So then people go home thinking it's actually easy. Why? Because I'm taking this monster that they see as the language itself, as English in this case, and I am kind of um, putting it or setting things apart and showing them that it's not complicated, that it's actually easy. And usually it helps. At least it helps. It has helped me to, to make people change their mindsets. Uh, Danny or Ali, any comments in regards to this? Well, I completely agree. And also, I think that Fabri gave a really good, like, you know, explanation, maybe. And well, yeah, I agree in the fact that we are more attracted to things that we think are easily, that are more easy than other things that are harder. So, yeah. It's interesting. And you know what's interesting? That I, I believe that in my case, sometimes I feel, if I know that it's, if it's too easy, then... I don't feel that motivated. I prefer, but it's me. Probably I'm just weird. But I prefer when something is a little bit more challenging. Like if it is challenging, I feel more motivated to to actually kind of, of do it. It's a strange, but I think it's probably me. No, teacher, I think I, I feel like the same thing. I like to challenge myself. Thank you. And then, then it's not me or either. We're in this together and we're weird or... It's not just us, but I think that's really cool because when you're challenged is when you actually learn. Okay, the next point, and this is something that really caught my attention when I watched the video the first time. The speaker says that for the experiment they conducted, the one of the 7,000 steps, that they did the, the two, um, let's say, as in areas where they gave the people the $40 in advance and where they would give them the dollar, and I think it was 40 cents, for they, if they reach the goal, the ones that were getting the money per day, they didn't care. So they wouldn't, I mean, walk the 7,000 steps. I mean, if they could, fine. If they couldn't, whatever. But the ones that already had the money in their accounts and that were going to start losing that money, those were the ones that actually were concerned. Like they didn't want to lose um, the money that they had already received okay so these ones were the ones that actually completed the seven steps daily the the ones that, that were getting every day they never well they never know they didn't do it what do you think about that because at the end if we look at it it's the same they're getting the same amount of money the difference that this ones they already got it and if they if they don't walk they lose it these ones have not received the money but they are getting it every day so why do you think this one didn't work and this one did? Let's start with Tam. Tam, you were awful, awfully quiet, the first one. So let's go. This one, you can start. Well, I don't know if I understand the question. But I think when you get results, like in this case, the money, you want to do more things and continue with that, basically. Okay. Okay, guys, what do you think? Do you agree or disagree with what Tam said? I also think that it's kind of a competition or like this because so sometimes also uh, because of our goal people um want to achieve but a goal that um that sometimes is related to having kind of um like advantage um 
uh, with a like from a certain group. For example, if you have more money, you are like richer than others. Or if you do this, you can um, like show it to others to show that you are better than them sometimes. And it's kind of the motivation people like to find that they are like better than others to to show them. And and like, of course, as, as the video said also, the, the fact that we want others to look at us when doing uh, things. Yeah, that is true. Um, okay, Ali, sorry, go. Uh, well, uh. in my... In my case, like has Tamara um Fabri said, uh, I think uh, basically when you have a motivation to do something and you start to see results, it's easier to keep doing and keep trying, and also keep trying. Trying. Okay. No, it's good. No way. Uh, but I have, but I, still, you haven't answered my question. For all of you, why do you think that one of them worked and the other one didn't work? Because I mean, they at the end of the month, they were gonna have, they think it was like $42. So they were going to have the $42 in their bank accounts. The difference is that the first group, they got the money, like let's say that it was April the 1st. So I say, okay, Tam, the money is already in your account, the $42. If you don't walk the 7,000 steps every day, I'm going to subtract, I'm going to remove or take away $1.40. I think that was the amount. And then I go in and say, Ale, if you walk seven steps daily, I am going to deposit in your account $1.40 every day. It's very interesting because at the end, at the end of the month, they were going to have the same amount of money for free. However, let's say that Ale, I'm using Ale as an example, Ale that was going to, or that was getting the amount of money every day, didn't complete or didn't care. So didn't complete the 7,000 steps daily. However, Tam that was, uh, that, that had already received the money and that was going to lose that $1.40 uh, cents per day, Every time that she didn't reach the goal, she did actually worked harder than Ali to not lose the money. So what do you think that happened? That is the thing that I was, I was pretty shocked when I watched the video. Well, teacher, I think that at least my idea is that, for example, the group that had the money, well, but they kept losing it daily. They had assured the same quantity as the other group, but they were like losing money daily. They had assured the quantity at first, so they wanted to make sure that they had the quantity at the end. But the other group started like not with nothing. They had that quantity assured, but they had to do it. So I think for people is better avoiding to lose the money that you have than winning money like in, I don't know, little quantities. I think that's maybe a reason. Okay, that yeah, in a way that makes sense. So you're saying pretty much that they felt more motivated when they saw like the chunk already there, like this big amount of money, rather than getting like this little like coins, let's say, every day, because these little coins wouldn't make much of a difference while like the full amount was already there. Yeah. Yeah, in a way that could that could be a, a that could that could make a lot of sense. Um okay, so now, super quick, um, they mention or they are saying that when people see role models doing these things, it actually helps to educate the other people, okay? So, and they give, I love this example, when they talk about Batman and Robin, that they got into the into their car, um, and the first thing they would do is they would buckle up, okay? So they would put on the seat belts and... People, I mean, like the camera would make um, or would focus on that part. So people could see that they were putting their seat belts. Okay. What do you think about this? What do you think that seeing a role model do something could actually make an impact, a positive impact um, on people?
Well, I can I think it may be because of uh, the success of that person that may make me feel like I want to succeed uh, as them. So I have to follow these steps to become as that person that I admire. Okay. Okay. What do you guys think? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Well, teacher, I would answer, but like my screen freeze when you were saying the questions, I wasn't able to hear it. So I don't know if you can repeat it, please. Yes, of course. So what I was saying is that um, in the video, the speaker says that using role models sometimes or usually helps for people to start doing those activities. And the example that they gave was the one of Batman and Robin when whenever uh, in the TV series, I don't know which one it is because there are many, um, whenever they would get into the into their car, the camera would uh, point directly to them putting on their seat belts. So that uh, the speaker says that actually had a positive impact because whenever he would get in a car, he would be like, oh, I need to put on like to uh, buckle up or to, you know, wear my seat belt. So do you agree with that? And also, why do you think that helps? Well, I agree, and I think that most of the times we replicate what we see, for example, on a TV show or even in our daily life. Like, the way we learn when we are babies is from what we see from our parents. So I think it's something that is related. We are, like, based psychology. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I think it's important, and I think it works. Exactly. And what Faridi was also saying about the fact that if it's someone that we admire, in a way, we're doing this because we want to be like them, in a way. So that makes that makes sense. Tani and Tam, any comments in regards to this? Yes, I totally agree. I think when you admire a person or you have a like a role model, you have more motivation and maybe achieve the same as that person. Because if you maybe if you see some results in this person, you are gonna try to to get the same. Yes. Tani, do you want to add anything? Well, um, I agree too. I think that having an example to follow, um, it's a great motivation for one because that way, that way one wants to improve more and more until they um, become that person or better. Yeah, I agree with you. Okay, guys, so based on this, the activity that I have for today is the following. So I'm going to pair you up randomly. So you're going to be working in pairs. And in pairs, you're going to be creating a class, let's say class, um, where you promote um, physical health, okay? So how are you going to promote it? Are you going to be emphasizing mostly food or also sports or just certain ex exercises? Because, you know, exercise doesn't necessarily mean to practice sport. So you're going to be going for sports, going for exercises, going for food. How? And also... Um, you're going to be creating like, boom, this sort of Mars master class. And at the end of everything that you're going to be doing, you're also going to be coming up with an activity. Okay. The idea is that you also put into practice what you learn from the video and everything that they're saying, because the um, speakers is something that I really like. And he says that um, harnessing the irrationality is actually a very good idea in order to try to people do or go for more healthy um, options or decisions, okay? So again, I'm gonna pair you up. We're gonna see that in a minute. And what you have to do is to create a class or a campaign. I think that's, that makes it easier. A campaign where you promote physical health, okay? How, what are you gonna be doing? How are you gonna be doing? And you're gonna be presenting that to us. So for example, I don't know, let's say that Fabri 
and Tanya are together. If Audrey and Tanya are together, so they two are going to come to the class and they're going to do that class for us, meaning like Tam and Ale and me. So we're going to be your audience to see how you promote that. You can look for videos. You can look for, you can give a talk, like create a speech, give the benefits of physical education, etc. You're going to do anything that you consider it's necessary or anything that you consider would help uh, people to start living a healthier lifestyle, okay? Or a healthier physical lifestyle. Did I explain myself? Um, Teacher, we have to do it like in a video or we present it like- no, you present it. You're gonna create, let's say, like a like a PowerPoint presentation to say something. It can be Canva, it can be anything that you want. Um, and you're gonna to come to the class and you're gonna say, for example, today we come to, I don't know, uh, well, you can say to show you the benefits of having a good physical education, but that sounds like meh. It would be good, better if you look for a way to spice it up. So, so like today we come to, I don't know, teach you how to be fit in, I don't know, 11 days or how to do, I don't know, uh, be creative. You know, you're super creative. So that's what I want, something to use your imagination and to blow our minds, okay? Click clear, questions, concerns. Clear, teacher. Thank you. Guys, uh, how about the Ale, Tani, and Tam, questions? Um, no. No, no, teacher. Okay, so as I said, you're gonna be doing these in pairs, okay? So let me go ahead and create the pairs. As Can you see my screen now? Yes. Okay, that's awesome. So what we're gonna be doing right now is I'm gonna, we're gonna spin and we're gonna create the grips. And let's see. Ali, Ali, I don't know if it's e either. You're too lucky or too not very lucky because last time you were the first one also for the speaking sessions. So, okay, Ale. Okay. Let's see who is going to be working with Ale. Okay, Ale and Tam, which means that Fauri and Tani are together. Okay. Okay, the idea is that you create um a 20 to 30 minute campaign, okay? And I'm going to be giving you around 30 minutes. I think that should be more than enough. Still, if you need more time or if you need, of course, if you need any help, I'm going to be here and I'll be I'll be more than happy to assist you with any questions or concerns. Let me go ahead and create the uh breaker rooms and send you there so you can work on that. Just a second. Any questions before I send you into the breaker rooms? Mm, no, teacher. Okay. So, um, Ali and Tam. In Fawri and Tani. Okay, here we go. I want to send into the breaker rooms. It's um 9.22. So, at 9.52, I'll be bringing you back. Still, if you need me, remember that there is a help button. And also, I'm going to be uh, probably getting in a few minutes into your breaker rooms to see how is it going with everything. Hey guys, you ready? Did you rehearse? Are you ready to give the performance of your life? Yes, teacher. I think so. Now, what is that voice? I was like, seriously, I'm like, I think so. No, no, I need you more energetic to be like a, like a, like a powerhouse to teach him how to do it. Yeah, I want to bring you to the main room in a second.
I don't know why uh the computer kept on muting me. Okay, guys. So since everybody's ready, um, do I have any volunteers to present first? Wow, your your silence is deafening. Okay, let me go ahead and choose then. Um, Tamara's group. Okay, guys, Tam, you and Ali are going to be presenting first, and then we're going to move to Tani and Fauri. Okay, teacher. Give me a second. Yeah. Now, right? Yes, we can see your presentation now. Okay, uh, good afternoon. Well, sorry. Good evening, teacher and classmates. Today we are going to talk about if, about physical health and its importance. So first, um, I'm going to start with this question. What is physical health? Well, a physical health can be defined as the normal, like, as the normal function of the body, basically, representing one dimension of total well-being. A physical health is about how your body grows, feels, and moves, uh, how you care for it, and um, like what you put into it and why is it is still so important um being physical active can improve your brain health um help manage weight reduce the risk or or sorry reduce the risk of disease um strained bones and muscles and improve your ability to do every activities other thing is that when well usually we give the real importance of the physical health when we are sick or injured that we put the time and in energy in to looking after our physical health but it's important also uh, well it's important to um to regularly monitor your overall physical health and getting a checkup if you or someone that you know are concerned now well i'm going to talk to you about exercise so let's start with this what is exercise in relation to physical health well exercise is a subset of physical activity that is planned structured and is repetitive and has as a final or intermediate objective to improvement or maintenance of the physical health and well as you may know exercise is literally one of the bases of physical health is one of the most important things to do and it's something that we should do if we could daily now these are some exercises that can help you to improve your health maybe you can go and take a walk swimming can also help biking is a good one going to the gym of course is always an option and well playing a sport i think we'll have a sport that we like so it's nice to be able to play now why is doing exercise recommended to have a good life? 
Well, it is recommended because everyone, you know, needs to have a good physical health to be able to live on a good life. And also because it can allow you to do a lot more of things in a lot of different ways that you'd be unable to do in other circumstances. So it's literally basic to have a good life and to have a good physical health. Well, other important thing is the healthy food. And being fit doesn't mean uh, not being able to eat. Obviously, you should eat, but not like harmful food. So, uh, to maintain like good physical health, it's important that you eat fruits, obviously, such as um, the images, banana, apples, uh, orange, grapes, because fruits give you energy, the fruits are healthy and have like natural sugar. And also you can eat meals or strong dishes such as, a, a strong, well, I don't know how to say that meal meals or stone dishes, teacher. Usually they're not called strong dishes. They're just uh they're usually called as the main dish, which is like the, the main plate, which is like the, the one that is heavier for the stomach. Okay, the main dish. Yes. Okay, sorry, sorry. Okay. Um you can eat the main dish such as rice, beans, vegetables, pasta, meats, and etc. But not eating excess or constantly because that's bad. And um, that is why it's a very good option to go to a nutritionist. Nutritionist, right? So that um, it can tell you the exact uh, amounts of food and which foods will help you the most, basically. And also, also drinking water is very important. It's a refreshing and natural drink. I think basically it's the, finally the best option in drinks because it helps your entire body and internal system. And uh, some people say that eating health is eating ugly, ugly, but I think not. I think you you have to know how to enjoy and combine the food. Now, well, I'm going to talk about something very important, that is good habits. Well, we know as good habits, almost everything related to our physical health that we do daily. And, well, these things are important because our habits that we develop in order of maintaining our body completely healthy and for having a better lifestyle. And, well, a good habit or healthy habit can be almost everything. Everything that we do, we can turn it into a good habit. And I'm going to tell you some of, well, the most well-known examples. For example, doing exercise or sports frequently. Well, you have to drink enough water every day, of course. Also having a balanced alimentation. Maybe having a good hygiene. Or sleeping enough hours daily, at least from 6 to 8. These are one of the most important habits that you can develop. And some of them are even, like basic for even living, like I'm going to say now. So why are good habits really important? Well, we can live without them if we, if we want to live in a good way, you know? For example, you need to drink water or to have a good rest every night. And that is what all this topic is about. And also that's another reason to develop good habits and to start making healthier decisions. Well, thanks for your attention and obviously remember to take care of your physical health. 
Thanks. This guy is perfect. Thank you. Um, that was really good. This is a clap in, in let's go. I think it's the way. Um, okay, now we're going to move to Danny and Fabri. You guys, whenever you're ready, you can start. I want to be giving you both feedback, but at the end, once both of the presentations have finished. So Fabri and, and Tani, whenever you're ready, the floor is yours. Uh, teacher, do you see my screen? Yes, 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 I can see it. Okay. Um. Well. Uh, good evening. Good evening. Um. Teacher and class. Well. Today. Um. We are going to talk about some tips to have a healthy lifestyle. Um. They are little uh, little things you can do to improve your lifestyle. Um, because basically you can make small changes, but they are also important. Okay. Okay, well, I would like to start um adding from the things that my classmate said um that also um i found some kind of information some days ago about some blue zones in the world there are just five around the world and surprisingly costa rica has one of these and it is uh, uh the nicoya place so it's interesting how to see to see how people maintain their lives so healthy that they tend to live longer than others and and the the secret of longevity is is doing these things that my classmate said Tani said doing simple things because they don't prior prioritize um, very big things to do they don't have to make some like well uh, um some things that would surprise others um they just do natural and they just follow their culture to achieve these kind of things and some tips that we found or that are related to the way they live and the recommendations that um for example uh, the the WHO suggests about how to be healthy. For the first, the very first one is, for example, to, um, uh, for example, try to wake up as early as you can. Sometimes because of work, we have to wake up or school, we have to wake up early. But it's not just because we have some things to do, but because this is a time when the body tends to have more energy because of the um of the 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 movement and the body and the the reaction of the body and some kind of processes that we have in or inner processes that we um face in these moments so this is the these are the moments in which we tend to be um more disposed to doing things and what I, what I wish suggest to doing is also to go into bed early as we can like help our bodies get used to this daily activity of being um in a routine of sleeping at, uh, at least eight six to eight hours uh eight hours most preferable because um in we achieve or we can have time to recover 
and like giving a pause is the best thing you can do to continue doing the things you are you want to do okay the second tip is a teacher sorry just one question how can i say that word hydrate hydrate no hydrated ah uh, hi hi Hydrated. Yes, hydrated. Okay. Be thank you. Being hydrated, buying a bottle of water and design to your preference. Well, drinking water doesn't have to be so boring. <laughs> there are a lot of options um for you to have a good experience. Um, you can choose the bottle designs, colors, and shapes that you like the most. And at the same time, you are hydrating, which is very important um, for your body. And also, as food is one of the most important things to... Um, to our daily lives, as it's a biological need, we have to understand that there are some kind of nutrients that food provides us to have energy, to, for example, control our blood pressure, pressure to, well, to generally stay healthy, um, kind of consuming everyday vitamin C and D, which is something that people in, one, in Nicoya consume a lot, because there the water, for example, is high in calcium, so they can um, have their their uh, bones uh, strengthened with uh, the calcium they receive from the water, for example. Also, they are like they feed up, they eat a lot of um, organic food, which is something that we can all see that, when you eat what you like try to as natural as possible you can have all the benefits and achieve all the the energy you want to have from just eating simple things that you really like but that um are uh, close to or you can up up are up to to your or you can have them in an easy way also trying to consume, for example, uh, omega-3 that is in a lot of uh, food, especially in fish, salmon, and this kind of food, and also protein that is, ha that, uh, for example, this kind of seafood have a lot of it, like kind of the seafood, and um, is like the one, the food that they consume in the, the the principal meals in Nicoya that help them be as healthy as possible and consuming also supplements that can have um some greens and reds also for example um you can uh, uh, have them access to them by natural ways for example eating spinach eating ginger these are, uh, for example, green beans, and these provide you a lot of nutrients that are very helpful helpful for your body. Okay, the, the number four, do exercise and move your body. Being in constant movement is very important and you can choose the way you like the best to do it. You can dance, you can run, you can walk, you can play soccer. Basically, you can do, I don't know, your favorite sport because you have a wide variety of options to choose from. And I think that that is the main idea. Um, have a good time uh, doing simple things and healthy things for you and your body.
also it's important for you to try or give you moments to meditate to give you positive um feelings or uh thinking positively for example if how do you imagine yourself in 10 years and how would you treat yourself in the future as we are very likely to say for example to our uh, present uh, person that we should be better, we are not doing uh, our best, we should be in shape or we should copy another person. But when it comes to saying uh, something to the future person, for example, in 10 years, we wouldn't say them all these uh, comments in that way. We would instead try to make it as possible, positive as possible, because we want to improve ourselves in a, in a great way. So what we should do is try to apply this way. We would say to um, our ten year person, trying to do it in uh, to our present person, saying positive comments and um meditating how important we are and that we li are living right now for an important reason. And that's the way we can achieve better results um, by saying I can do it little by little and I can achieve it. Um, go out and interact, interact with others. Going out and socializing with other people is one of the best options to relax and de-stress. And basically, you can go to your favorite place and do things you like, or you can also um, go out with your friends and have a good time. The idea is that you um go out of your I don't know maybe of your comfort zone and you interact with with other things. And not just to be just um Physically great is about doing like physical things, but um, trying to improve our minds by always having it um, doing something. And a way to achieve it is by learning something new every day. For example, in the place you are working or studying, trying to make some things different. And when we want to do something new, we uh, most of the time have to get out of our comfort zone. So it's very important to apply some, these kind of ways to like be um, more open to things and always have our minds constantly doing different things from the way we did it the, the last day, not saying it's another boring day, but continuing being positively and trying to to make things like um, more beautiful. Well, that's all. Thank you for your attention. Well, guys, thank you very much for that presentation. Um, I really liked it as well. Okay, so um, well, clearly this was formative. Yes, thank you, Tam. Again, this is like clapping, but like just in case, because then you might think I'm crazy. I'm not. Well, maybe I am, but not in this part. Um, okay, super quick. Uh first, let's go over pronunciation. There were a few things that I want to go over. Um this word sometimes it's just when we're speaking fast. How do you pronounce that? It's in the chat here in, in the meeting. Any idea? Function. Exactly, function, okay? This other one.
dimensions. Exactly, dimensions, not dimensions, but dimensions. This one. Muscles. Exactly, muscles. I have a question here. Do you say someone is or someone are? I would say someone is. Exactly, exactly. Someone is, never someone are. Only someone is. This other one. How do you pronounce that one? Well, in case you don't know, don't worry, it's fine. Hygiene. So we say hygiene. And one last thing. This kind of food have. Is that correct? Yes or no? And why? I think food is plural, so I think it's correct. I don't know. No, it would be incorrect because this kind is a phrase that is telling me that is only one type. So for the reason, it should be this type or this kind of food has. For example, we can say, I don't know, fruits. So I can say this kind of food is, I don't know, beneficial for our bodies. If we're talking about different kinds, then yes, these kinds of foods are, I don't know, beneficial or healthy or whatever you want to say. Um, that was the first thing. Um, now, the hard feedback. Okay, so if I have to give a grade from one to 10, to each one of the presentations, this will be my grade. And I wanna give you the reason why. To Ale and Tam, I would give you a 7.5. Why? Let me tell you why, because that's the important part. Because even though it was good and it was informative, which is what I was looking for in a way, you didn't use any of the tips presented in the video. And I was also hoping for something a bit more creative, something that is not something that I have heard before. And some of the things that, you know, because for example, I'm, well, I think I'm slightly healthy. And most of the things that you said, some, some of those things I already know. So I was hoping for a different take on it. For example, um, I don't know, you saying, um, I don't know how to get, how to make yourself live longer, for example, or something like that. Something that would immediately catch my attention. I'll be like, oh, how? And then you start giving, oh, by doing this, doing that, you're doing or giving all these different tips then that would have caught my attention right away. Okay. And still, it was good but it fall more into a very regular presentation. And I was hoping for something that would like blow my mind. Something I'll be like, oh, this is a very interesting approach on how to be healthier. And this actually motivates me to be healthier. That's the part that I was missing a bit more, to be more motivated to be healthy. Like if I leave your presentation, I'm gonna leave going, and going to eat a pizza. I'm gonna say, oh, I'm gonna go and grab a pizza. Like I'm gonna eat a pizza, and that's it. So I feel like it missed a bit on motivating me to be healthier. And for Tani and Fauri, if I had to give you a grade from one to ten, I would actually give you a nine. Because um, I like some things that you did first. Um, Fauri mentioned the blue zones which it's not something that many people know. So compliments to you, Fauri, for getting that details, first of all. And second of all, 
as Faridi said, he said they're only he said like a very brief comment, but he said there are only like five of those in the world, and Costa Rica has one of them. So it's like a way of something that could look impossible, making it possible. Because you're saying, okay, only a few places in the world have this, and we have it. So we could actually live longer if we want to. So in a way that is um very discreetly, it's motivating us to say, like, hmm, do I want to live longer? Let me listen to this. Um, and also the other thing that I really liked that you guys did um, was that what I liked is that your approach on it, yes, it included a little bit of exercise and stuff like that, but you also had very fun tips. So it's not like go and eat healthy and do exercise. It's, it was different because you said, for example, go out and, and I don't know, spend some time with people that you like, uh, learn something new do all these things. So by doing that, then I, I'm like thinking, oh, so yes, yeah, so I know that I need to do exercise and eat healthy and everything. But aside from that, if I go in and I spend some time with my best friends, then that is going to be a very good habit. Um, And there were others. So I really like that because again, this is a bit more creative and I liked this creativity on on how to be healthier because again it's not like you're motivating people to go and get into a gym and have a summer body in three or four months it's more how can we be healthier and in a way you were promoting that by saying or giving all these tips so i, I genuinely like this because the way that you did it it was it was it was good still it could have been you could have taken it further and none of you use any role models because remember what what that was one of the main tips of the of the video. When you use a role model, then you can go ahead and and show and showcase pretty much what they are doing, and you be like, oh, if you do this, then you can look like the rock, for example, or if you do this, you're gonna be so. Because then, if the person likes that that um that actor, actress, singer, I don't know, activist, whomever it is, then the person is gonna think, oh, if I do this, I'm gonna be more like or get closer to what this person is. So that was the part that I missed a little bit, but I like your approach to it. I think it was creative. I think it was fun. And I think that it, it suits everybody from people that like to work out and go to the gym to people who hate going to the gym, but they can, can start doing these small steps, like, you know, hydrating, drinking vitamin C, etc. All these small things that would actually increase or make their um, health to be in a better place. Questions, comments, concerns. Nope. Okay. Um, okay, guys. So before I let you go, it's because already like 8:40. I hadn't seen the time. Um, before I let you go, a few things in case that you are not aware of, or in case that you forget or anything. In the WhatsApp chat, I already sent the topics for the speaking sessions. So in, in case that you forget or anything, you have them there. So you can go ahead and um like look at them and say like, oh, which was my topic? This one, okay? That's the first thing. This coming Thursday, I'm gonna be getting together with Ali. So Ali is gonna be presenting not this week, but the next week, okay? So just for you to, to keep that in mind. So um, Ali is gonna be presenting on, let me look at the calendar. And I can give you, wait. Okay, so um, this coming Thursday is the 13th. Okay, so Ali, uh, you should have something slightly ready for the 13th for us to see, like you and me. And then you're presenting on the 20th, Okay. On April the 20th is that you're presenting um, your speaking session. Then on the 20th, that same day, is that we move with the next one, which I think is Tani, right? Tani, you're the second one. Okay. Then on the 20th is that Tani should have something ready for only us, like Tani and me, to go over. And then Tani is presenting on the 27th and so on and so forth. Okay. Then once we start, we continue like that. Questions, comments, concerns, doubts. Nope. Okay, super quick. Um, this is my time is cold in you. Remember that you should have your cameras on the whole time. 
The only person that I'm going to excuse is Tam because Tam uh, contacted me and she had a situation. So, of course, she asked for permission. So, Tam, this is not for you. But Tani, Fauri, and Ale, especially Ale that never activated his camera, uh, remember that you should have your cameras on. It's a rule that Funda Tech has. So, just keep that in mind. So, next class, the moment that we start, I want to start seeing your beautiful faces, okay? Questions, comments? Nope. Okay. Sorry, teacher. Um, the the like the amount of time we have to last in the presentation is around thirty minutes, right? Yes. 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 In the speaking session. Yes. 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 Thirty minutes. Correct. Okay, guys, so that being said, remember that you already have the topics for the speaking session, so you can start planning ahead, like start thinking what you want to do, how you want to approach a topic. If you want to send me like a message, teacher, I'm thinking about doing this, even if it's not now, for example, probably you are the third one, I think. So if you want to start like this week and, and tell me, teacher, I was thinking to do something or, or send me a message, you can do it. And as soon as else I'm available, I'll be responding to you. So you can start planning ahead, but just in case you have a specific date to be ready. So far, you can do that. Do that. Um, let me see if I'm missing something. No, I think I'm not. Uh, oh, yes, 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 yes. Before I forget, one more thing. So because you know that I adore you and I want what is best for you, this coming Thursday, we're going to do something. I'm already checking, but um, let me I need to double check if it's already available. So this is the thing. Have you heard about the Cinde Job Fair? Cinde Job Fair. Have you heard of it? Probably not, right? Okay, so super quick. Cinde, it's a beautiful institution here in Costa Rica. It's amazing. I think they're great. And they promote um, the, how can I say, the um, outside companies to come into Costa Rica and to invest here, pretty much to generate more jobs, okay? So for their reason, um, they have what is called a, a Cinde job fair, where they put all the all these companies together offering jobs. Okay. So why am I saying this? Because you might think like, I don't care about this. I'm too young. And that's true. But that's not the part that I care about. I was doing a little bit of research and I found out that Cinde, since it's a, a, a job fair that requires people to speak more than one language. So Spanish, we already have it, English, and then hopefully another one. Cinde pays a company called Belt. Belt administers a language test, okay? These language tests, usually we have to pay it. However, Cinde, because of the job fair, makes it available for free. So you can take the test and get an idea on what is your English level. Okay, so uh, since I want to, since we're like, this is level 10 and you're almost done with it. And um, I want you to get an idea of, of your level. So on Thursday, I'm going to double check if it's already available because I know it's in April. I don't know if it's a web page. I don't know if the web page is already available. So um, if it is, then this coming Thursday, you are going to be taking the um, language test from Belt to see which is your English level. Okay, it will be completely for free. So don't worry about money. It's not anything about that. Um, and you're, you're going to get an idea of how amazing you already are. Because, you know, you're amazing, but it's just to have an indicator of which of the levels you are. Are you an A1, A2, B1, B2, or C1? Okay. Clear. Okay. Yes, thank you. Yes, you see, you see, I get all this information for you because I don't need to take it, but I'm getting this for you because I really want you to see which is your level. Okay. So um be ready. You can start practicing like reading and listening to audience and everything. But I think we're most likely this coming Thursday, we're gonna be doing it. Okay. That being said, if you don't have any more, if you have questions, you can ask. If you don't have any more questions. I'm going to let you go. Hope you have an amazing rest of your evening. Take good care of you. And I'll see you this coming Thursday. Okay, teacher. Perfect. Good night. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Thank you, Bye -bye. teacher. Good night. Good night. Take care.